you now in changing the way your children learn. Today, the Senate is expected to vote on a rewrite of the long-standing No Child Left Behind law. In it comes major changes on how teachers are rated and who decides the way schools should improve. 41 Action News reporter Sarah Plake is live in Kansas City with more details. Sarah. Yeah, that's right. This new bill is called the Every Student Succeeds Act, and it would give the states the power to control their public schools, shifting the power and the control away from the federal government. And it would mean big changes for schools here in Kansas City and, of course, across the entire country. So, this new bit of legislation would keep in place a critical, uh, a major part of the No Child Left Behind Act, which is annual standardized testing. Kids third through eighth grade would still have to go through those tests, but it changes another major part. The federal government can't. Can't tell the states how to judge student and teacher performance. It'd be up to the state to come up with plans to improve struggling schools and set its own goals. The original intent of the No Child Left Behind Act was to close those learning gaps for minority students, but it also meant drastic consequences if the schools did not meet the government standards. Well, that led teachers to worry about overtesting and overall hurting their students. And so this legislation will also encourage uh, limiting the amount of time students are taking, spending, uh, spending on taking tests and so today the Senate is expected to vote on that and pass it and then once the Senate passes that bill uh, President Obama will sign it into action. Live in downtown Kansas City, Sarah Blake, 41 Action News.